Hi, we're at the American Autonomic Society Conference in Clearwater, Florida, and we're speaking with researchers to learn about their new autonomic research. So um, why don't you tell us your name and where you're from? I'm Dr. Jeff Boris. I'm a pediatric cardiologist in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So what's your interest in the field of autonomics? Um, I have been a physician taking care of patients with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome since 2002. And in the last several years, I've also gotten into publication on uh, research of various types within POTS too, to help try to make the field come forward. So can you tell us about, uh, give us a brief summary of what kind of research you presented at the conference this week? Uh, today I presented an oral presentation on um, a potential new genetic link that we found at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia on uh, uh, that, that, that would be related to postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Um, this is a gene that may be related to the function of smooth muscles. And um, we're hoping that uh, with further research, we'll have a sense of whether this actually is really causing POTS or not. All we can say right now is we have found this gene and it's in a fair number of patients. And uh, we'll see if it actually does something. Just for our patient audience at home, how do smooth muscles relate to the autonomic nervous system? So the blood vessels um, in our body are controlled, they open and close to help control our blood pressure, and so they are controlled by what's called smooth muscles. So when we, there's two main kinds of muscles in the body, skeletal or striated muscles, these are the muscles in our arms and legs, and those are the things that we control ourselves. Smooth muscles are the muscles that we don't think about but help to open and close um, uh, our, our blood vessels and help, in this case, to maintain our blood pressure. So based on all the research you've seen at this conference this week, what do you think the hot topics are in autonomic research maybe over the next five to 10 years? Uh, the big issues coming down the pike, I think, are going to be trying to figure out if there is an autoimmune um, uh, basis for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, as well as the genetic basis. Um, you know, here uh, at the American Autonomic Society, there's a lot of research on adult medicine um, with Parkinson's disease and diabetes and other disorders that we don't see associated with POTS, but are still dysautonomias. And then um, we also see a fair bit of uh, POTS research as well. I think getting those two issues as well as getting appropriate therapeutic interventions for these patients over, the over time will be uh, something that we need to better characterize over the next five to ten years. So in closing, is there any message you'd like to share with the online community? Um, first of all, I want to thank our, um, our donors the Esther Feigenbaum Family Foundation and, um, and help you guys realize that um, uh, donations from families that we don't have to go through the NIH can help really make research happen and really help bring the field forward and um, really help us get closer to moving from a POTS 1.0 to a POTS 2.0 or even 3.0 so that we really know how best to take care of you or your kids. All right, thank you for your time. Sure, thank you.